Welcome back to Business Watch. With us this evening is Mr. Kyron Grant, Administrator of the Venture Capital Incentive Program. Mr. Grant, let's discuss a bit about equity and debt financing in the context of Venture Capital. And perhaps you can begin by identifying some of the advantages and disadvantages of each. Well, what, what we found is that for normal I don't want to say routine, but for normal established business types, there is normally a variety of debt financing options available. Yes. You can go to the bank or any other similar loan granting institutions, and um, based on their specialities, they will perhaps grant you a loan for, for business. But what we found is for very new businesses or very new types of businesses, or businesses exploiting a very new idea, debt financing is a little more difficult for them to obtain. Uh, for one, they may not have the types of um, collateral, they may not have the track record, and they may not meet the requirements that uh, a debt servicing debt company would, would, would like. And um, this is where the alternative forms of financing will come in. And, uh, what, what, what you try to do in terms of equity financing is that that person or that institution that provides that kind of financing becomes a partner. And as I mentioned before, they share in both the good and, and the bad that happens with, with, with that business. Yes. What normally happens is that they therefore have a vested interest in seeing that business succeed. And they will tend to go the proverbial extra mile to ensure that that, uh, that happens. And in fact, with venture capital companies, normally within their articles of association, they will normally include a clause where they will assist the company in terms of management. Okay. Right? And in some cases, um, for some of the more established venture capital companies, they may even lend personnel and resources to help that company Move forward. Move forward. Um, in many, on many occasions as well, they would also provide, they may even provide a director at the very, very highest level to assist in, 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 in running the, the, the company. So therefore, the, the big advantage with equity is that the company has its heart and soul invested as well as its money. Uh, there's, no, there's no debt service to the, to the new company. Uh, they're not required to pay back any loan or anything at that, um, at that point in time. And they have a partner who will, if necessary in some cases, contribute further funds if, if required. But the other aspect of it is that normally for that kind of participation, the investor must see some very attractive returns that may not exist in normal in normal, in normal businesses. And what we found is that several companies have a mix. There's some equity, um, sometimes put up by the, the owner of the business himself. Yes. Some put up by some other people and maybe some aspects of debt financing yes. for, parts of the, for parts of the business. So it depends on the, on, the, on the particular situation. But I just want to remind people that in new areas, you normally have some difficulty in obtaining debt financing. In terms of risk, if you were to, if you, if you were to um, talk about the level of risk, how would you compare it between both? Venture capital is not for the faint-hearted. You don't have yes. A, yes. a track record on which to base your projections. Some of it is based on new technology, new practices. Um, some of it is a gut feeling. Some of it is, 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 is a guess, and in some cases, just the, the sheer scale of the return may be enough for someone to take the, to take the chance um, with it. So normally with venture capital companies, there is a higher risk. And uh, that's why one of the, the, the major practices of a venture capital company is to have a very rigorous risk assessment so they're not afraid of the risk, but they must be able to identify it 
and know that it that that it uh, that it exists so that they can properly quantify the kinds of chance that they are taking. Okay. Um, they, they, they are, there, there may be some, in our instance, we've had some fairly traditional businesses that have, have um, access venture capital. And in those cases, the risk may not be as, as critical as in, in, in other cases. But the, the major point is identific identification and measurement of the risk so that you know the chance that you're taking and you also know the type of return that you would want to get to make that kind of risk acceptable. Okay. I know that over the past couple of years, the VCIP has been involved in the facilitation of some key initiatives um, aimed at promoting entrepreneurial development, one of these being the business plan competition in secondary schools. I think it was an annual event. Okay. Is that, how is that coming along in terms of continuity? Um, We've had, we've had a fair amount of success in terms of the actual, the actual competition itself. We've had uh, good participation from most of, the, most of the schools. There's a timing issue where we have to have it at a particular window, um, given that a lot of the students have exams and so on at, at, at critical times. But I must say we've gotten good cooperation from most of the schools, and um, we've had several winners over the years that we're hoping will eventually get into their own businesses somewhere, somewhere down the line. When, when you're investing with youth, you don't always see the returns right away. Uh, somebody exposed to something in that 18 or 19 or 20 may eventually become an entrepreneur at 30. Right? Um, so it may have taken them 10 years, but that seed was planted some, some time ago. Uh, we also have some issues in terms of wanting to get the whole question of entrepreneurship taught at the schools, or at least mentioned or combined with some of the, 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 the courses. And, um, you know, but in our discussions with, with ministry officials in terms of education, they have so, many, so much stuff that they want to get on to the, 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 the curriculum. It's yes. a little bit of a, of a, of a battle yes. to get it on in a formal sense. But we've had the cooperation of the ministry all the, all, all, through all the competitions. Um, we hope to do some changes there, though, in terms of um, perhaps one year we'll aim it at secondary school students in Form 5. Another year we may aim at the six formers. Uh, we're right now thinking of probably the first year people in the tertiary um, education institutions and trying to refresh it and, and so on. So it's all uh, work in progress. Yes, and um, I think our last winners actually came from, I think it was Signal Hill in Tobago. Okay, okay. We'll get some closing thoughts from Mr. Grant when Business Watch returns from the break. <laughs>